there is this Bali website that has these two maps that I would like to get into one screenshot. And even if I turned it in portrait mode, there's just a little too much to get into one screenshot. Unfortunately, if I try and just make the screen smaller, this is what happens. It's going to end up showing me all the different tabs I have opened. So I can't make it smaller to get everything into the screenshot really in a really obvious way. But what I discovered is that I can make the screen much smaller if I just first make it a little bit bigger. So if I zoom out a little bit and then position my hands just right, I can zoom it in a lot and make the screen much smaller. And if I'm quick about it, I can then take a screenshot. There. Now I'm not going to, I'm iOS 11, I could take the screenshot right there and work with it. But last time I did that, I don't know, it didn't do what I wanted it to do. So I'm just going to go to the camera roll and get the screenshot the normal way I would get it. And work with it from here. So I'm going to edit it and crop it. That stuff is mostly ads, so really just cropping it to there is good. Okay, that looks pretty good. You know, I don't even need that stuff. Let's just go with this. Then, I'll show you a couple other things that I use in, um, they're like kind of in-camera roll apps. So if I tap on the three dots, that's going to open up whatever apps will kind of work within the camera roll of iOS. And the first one is... Well, I could use Markdown to try and remove some of these ads, or I could use Retouch. I'm going to use Retouch because it's an amazing app for just getting rid of stuff and images that you don't want. So I want to get rid of a bunch of these ads that are in here, and I'm going to use the Clone Stamp. I'm going to first set the clone stamp really big to work on this area over to the right and I'm going to set the hardness up and the opacity up and then I place the clone stamp where I want it to be and I just drag my finger and it covers it up with Oopsie, went too far. Let's try that again. With what I'm trying to clone. Yeah, I almost went too far again. When you work with it really big like this, you have to be careful. Okay, I'm going to make it smaller now. I'm kind of doing this sideways. So what you do... Nope, that one didn't work. What you do with retouch is you tap once to place the clone stamp where you want it to be. And then you drag your finger. But you always have to tap once, because if you just try and go multiple times 
from the position that it was in. The second time, the clone stamp can act a little weird and not do exactly what you want. Okay, that's pretty good, but I kind of messed up the edge right there, so I'm going to find where the edge is good. See if I can... Yeah, that totally didn't work, so I'm going to hit the undo. Let's try it again. It would have been okay if I hadn't gone up into the writing. Now I see some other spots that need to be fixed. Okay, that looks pretty good. Oh, there's a place down here that's all messed up. That didn't work. Undo. Yeah, I've got my finger at the wrong angle. This is something that it can be really nice to use Apple Pencil for because it's much more precise than your finger. Okay, that area looks good. Now, this other area up at the top here, hmm, not sure what I'm going to do. Let's try the clone stamp again. We'll do it in white. Actually, no, we really want to do it in the same blue color, don't we? Okay, that looks pretty good. Now because I've made this nice blank area here, I can write some notes or something for myself if I want to. And I'm going to put a border around this. There's a really great app for putting quick borders around things. Pixlr has two different white and two different black. Really simple, really thin borders that I love. And you can do right from the camera roll. Sanitize is my favorite black one. That looks pretty good, so we'll say done. So here's the completed screenshot. That was too long to originally get into one image. All done.